Hey guys, I'm going to show y'all a fly pattern I kind of come up with. Uh, there's a lot of people's tied a few caddis, uh, somewhat like this, but uh, caddis pupa patterns. But this is kind of a bigger one, uh, using it kind of as a tractor pattern. Uh, I use uh, yarn for dubbing, if you can see that right there. Uh, make it myself, just get the yarn at Walmart cut it into little bitty pieces and throw it in your coffee grinder and you've got some dubbing works pretty good you've got some UV qualities to it so uh, let's get started on this I just got a new vice too it's not new it's new to me though it's the uh, Norvice really liking it so far let's get a bead on there first um, Guys, I'm using these uh, Mustad size 10 uh, curved caddis hook. I like these hooks. I use them for a lot of different patterns. Um, they they're really sharp and they're cheap and they uh, they just work really well for me. Um, bead I'm using is uh, it's Montana Fly Company uh, black nickel tungsten bead 3.8 or 5/32nd size. So, get that on the hook here. With the Norvice here, I like to give it a little spin test. Um, you know, with a curved caddis hook, you're not going to get it spinning completely true, but as long as the hook eye is fairly true, I'll take that. All right, got some O2O lead wire. Gonna wrap ten wraps around the hook of, um, just around the shank here. And push that up into the bead. All right, now I'm going to come right in behind the lead wraps here. Actually, before I do it, I'm going to readjust this hook. I believe I've got a little too far in the vise. Let's try more about like that. A little spin test. That's better. All right. Now make sure my beads, lot wires up in the bead good. Okay, come in right behind the lead wraps, and I'm gonna start my thread right there, and I kind of pull tension forward to keep that lead pushed up there where it needs to be. All right. Now here's where the I'm really liking the Norvice. Just coming there with my bobbin, build up a little thread dam little ramp. Now I'm going to start working on building up a tapered body. Alright, now i got a pretty good tapered body right there. All right, so now I've got some small size wire here. Uh, let's see what brand it's used TC wire, ultra wire, small size in silver. I'm using silver because it's the only wire I have that matches this bead the best. So um, honestly, I, th I would like to try one with black wire. I just don't have any black wire right now but I think it would look really good just tie it in real good alright we're going to advance the thread back here to about the end of my thread here now is when I'm going to get the, the yarn dubbing wet my fingers a little bit and then I'm going to start building a tapered dubbing noodle
try to get it about four inches long. Be about right. Just a little more for good measure. All right, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna hold that, bring it around, and catch that in a dubbing loop. Then I'm gonna wrap my thread back up to the bead. And actually, I'm gonna pull it over to my thread post or use your bobbin cradle if you have one get it out of the way get it in my dubbing spinner here and then we're going to spin this loop up and uh, I, I love to use this this technique for dubbing uh, when I'm trying to get a really good looking segmented look and it's going to spin it up kind of like a little rope here if you see my last fly time video I made of the squirmy wormy I did the same technique now we're gonna start getting this wrapped around the hook gotta get up to my dubbing first get it started there at the tail start wrapping forward touching wraps right, it's giving it a really nice little segmented look there let's go around one more time all right now I'm just gonna let that go let it spin free it's not gonna hurt anything get my thread here and we're gonna capture it Snip it off. All right, I'm gonna pull my thread back over to the thread post. Now we're going to counter wrap this silver wire. It's going to add just a little bit more segmentation. I have an auto bobbin with this Norvice. All my spools are full of other colors of thread and uh, didn't have a free spool to put some of this. Let's see, this is a fluorescent chartreuse. I like this color pretty good. and uh, But I didn't have an extra spool to spool any of this up on. But it makes it a whole lot easier when you got your auto bobbin ready with an ore vise. Alright, now I have some, I hope y'all can see that, it is a ice dub, hairline dubbing ice dub, and we're going with the black peacock here. Really love this color. It's a really dark blackish color, but it has a, a really nice green peacock colored sheen to it. And we're going to build another um, try to build this one fairly sparse dub it on there fairly tight just a thin noodle this ice dub can be kind of hard to dub on a little practice you can get it though get about a three inch noodle on there Now we're going to get it started wrapping around the head. Just like a little black collar there. Alright, I'm going to call that good. Now I'm going to preen back what little fibers are sticking forward. And build up just a slight little collar. Kind of like a little hot spot collar around the uh, bead head there. 
get her whip finish tool put in about a five turn whip finish it might have been six I don't know snip the thread and you've got it and uh, got a few little long hairs here from the black peacock I'm gonna trim off leave them on there if you want to trim them off fish really not gonna mind and honestly after a few fish bite it anyway it's going to uh, fray it out they make it even buggier and they really don't seem to mind I fished Frenchies before and they literally strip all the dubbing off all the way to the tail and they still biting it but alright guys that's uh, my caddis tractor pattern got a little Sally Hansen hard as nails here but just a little dab of that on right behind the head on the the thread wrap all right guys my camera cut off for me what I was saying is uh if you're uh, fishing this with a euro rig just uh, put it you know on your bottom as your bottom fly point fly and uh, it's gonna get you down there deep quick and uh, hopefully it'll attract some fish for you um, but if you got any questions leave them in the comments I appreciate y'all watching if you got any questions about the Norvice I'll help you as much as I can but honestly I've only had this thing a few days now but I am loving it so just uh, leave a comment subscribe like it uh, check out some other videos and I appreciate y'all watching thanks